This is just a video on the status of the canoe thus far. There's going to be videos, how-tos on everything uh, that I can do on the canoe, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first things first, let's go ahead and hit the electronics. So uh, fair warning, uh, I don't have a wireless mic, so you're going to hear the lens focusing. I apologize. All right, so this right here is the uh, Humminbird 140C Fishing Buddy. You don't really need the color, however, I really enjoy it, uh, just uh, preference. So you can see right here on the left, so this is the basically the side finder. Uh, let's go ahead and show you that side finder piece real quick. The side finder piece right here, it's, uh, let's see if we can get a side view. So it's basically just that flat end, and what it does, it scans the top end, it's a 10 degree angle, the bottom's a 34. And what it does is that 10 degree angle lets you check the, uh, like if you're running up uh, to a, like a shore, it lets you check that shore, see if there's any fish right there. You can uh, do the adjustments and all that stuff. If you really want to get into it, go to their website, check it out. Uh, it's a love, I, I really love the fish finder. It works perfect for a canoe and uh, apparently they're selling really good over at uh, Bass Pro Shops. I got this at Sportsman's because they don't have a Bass Pro Shop set here in uh, Alaska, although they're opening one in Anchorage, but I'm in the interior. It's a six-hour drive. So, Okay, so this is the trolling motor power source. I did a video on this when I finished it up. Check that if you want to just look through my username stuff. So right here, this is just the the uh, volt battery voltage uh, so I can check it out. You have to kind of understand battery voltage and percentage with 12 volt deep cycle batteries to understand it. I got a, uh, there's an easy, just look it up. You can find the Excel sheet that shows you what percentage means or what voltage means what. So all I'm running is a nice U1 battery, which works amazing for me. I've been on the water for at least four hours. I still come back with running 70, 80% at least. And I'm talking about, I've been trolling a lot. So a big thing right here is going to be my prized possession. <laughs> I keep this inside my water bottle holder, you know, just clip this to the side when, you know, you get in, you get in and oh man, I love this thing. It makes a world of difference over chasing a water bottle up and down in the canoe. So I apologize again for the autofocus sounds. So the... I keep a water bottle in here for just in case I forget to bring one. Little speakers, nothing, nothing hardcore, just little speakers. So the battery clamps right there, those go straight to there. Uh, positive, I have it running through the Minn Kota recommended 50 amp uh, breaker. On the other side, I keep my keep my, you know. Uh, Thermocell. If you don't know what thermocell is, look it up. It's kind of a mandatory thing for people that live in Alaska. If you're going to be outdoors, a uh, beautiful thing too. So that keep, you know, some off in there as a backup. I have a voltmeter for uh, some reason if I decide not to trust this or if I somehow mess my wiring up to the voltmeter. Uh, like I said, easy on, easy off. Of course, you don't check it under load. Otherwise, it doesn't really do much it's good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and follow that wire all the way to the back to the trolling motor. It's just a Minn Kota 30 pound Endura C2. I like it. It's only a hundred bucks. I can't complain. It's been an amazing, you know, thing for me. Uh, no more paddling out there. It enables me to troll really easily. So next up is going to be the amazingly back saver. Just a, uh, it's basically a, uh, a bleacher seat uh, adapter, I guess right here on the bottom, keeps, keeps it from falling back, these little clamps. Okay, that lets you, you know, lean back. And then I have some straps right here attached to those back things to make sure I can slide forward. If I'm if I get a fish in, I'm trying to slide forward to my net, which I keep right here in the middle. Okay, uh, that right there is the thermocell. If you're wondering, like I said, just Google it. Thermocell, uh, it's spelled exactly how it sounds. Okay, uh, keep the tackle box nice and handy. 
it's perfect because it lets me put my legs right here on either side. I really can't complain. It's an amazing setup. Uh, it doesn't doesn't bother me a bit. So keep the or put it behind me. Uh, it's you know up front. I keep it up front until I get out, and then once I get out, I throw it behind me, never think again. Come back over here. Uh, say what you will. This is a ready to fish rod and reel. Uh, I'm a newbie, so this thing it worked perfect for me. Is uh, maybe 20, 30 bucks. Can't remember really. Came with a little tackle, a couple little things here and there. Uh, I keep it behind here until I'm ready to go. Once I'm ready to go, of course, I'll take and uh, you know put it together and use. So here's the thing. Let's get back on this trolling motor. Okay, like I said, nice little 30. It's awesome. I love it. All these people make all these crazy, complicated assemblies to use it. They use a board that goes across, sticks out, you know, all far. Here's what I did. I clamped it to the side. I didn't understand why everybody does this. You do this on a big John boat and everything. Why not do it to a canoe? Two two by sixes to make sure, you know, it takes the, some of the flex out of the, uh, the the uh, plastic of the canoe and then some C clamps to hold it down and then just clamp this down clamp, clamp this big bad boy down you know clamp it good you know to don't don't be don't be generous I mean be generous with that clamp it down hard because if you kick it from uh, one to five because you need to get out of the way of a bigger boat or something and this whole this whole thing will it'll kick up on you so when I'm going out you know I can't just leave it like this However, it's gonna go blurry for a sec while I do this. All you do, lift it up. See this? So, lift it up and out of the water. It sits behind you. All you do is you throw her in, hit that little button, good to go. Like I say, here's this uh, picture from the other side. Uh, this is because the canoe is a 17 foot canoe and it sticks out too far. It's the little uh, carabiner holding the cut up back of a uh, polo shirt that I found. So, uh, moving along, you got, like I say, tackle box. Not going to open that, no reason to. Here's the, uh, really, I mean, my other pride and joy the canoe cart. This is a heavy canoe. Uh, moving it by myself, dragging it along. I don't really feel too comfortable dragging it on the rocks and everything. Especially considering I got this used in 1982, it has patches, etc. Well, uh, it's an amazing thing. Watch the videos, watch the how-to. So the only other project I got going on is I'm basically going to move this a little bit closer so that, uh, close to the middle so I can use, put one of those vent, uh, the bleacher seats in. Uh, that's to come. I got the piping, got everything ready for it. Um, let's see. And you can see right here, here's the box for the, the hummingbird. Like I said, there's no, you don't really need the color. It's just maybe it's a luxury that's not required, but I like it. Uh, I love it. And uh, here's the view from this side. And. Uh, I, like I said, I can't complain. I'm, I'm liking it. More, more stuff to come and more how-tos. I hate, you know, I love how-tos because that way I can mimic them. McAfee makes some good stuff and uh, alright, that's all. More to come.